Hey everyone, I'm Julia and welcome to Crocoblock channel. This is the next video dedicated to WooCommerce and in today's tutorial we will work with the category template, then add the product categories to the homepage and set up a custom product taxonomy template. Before we begin, please make sure you are subscribed to our channel and don't forget to hit the bell to receive notifications. And now, let's get started. In case if you missed our previous videos or you're new to our channel, there are playlists of step-by-step -step tutorials on how to work with the Jetpool Builder plugin, create templates and design product and shop pages. In this video, I'm using our beautiful dynamic WooCommerce template, Zalden. All the links will be available in the description box below. As always, let's start with the Crocoblock dashboard and check if Jetpool Builder is installed and everything is enabled. I'm gonna proceed to the Woo page builder. To showcase the categories on the homepage, we need to create the category template first. Let's click on Add New Template. In the drop down list, specify that this template is for the category, then set a name and choose any layout that you like. Once you click on Create Template, you'll be able to style it in the Elementor editor. Let's delete this column on the right and style the text. Don't forget to publish it. Go back to the dashboard, WooCommerce, Settings. Open the last tab, Jetpool Builder. Scroll down to the Archive Category section. At first, enable the custom archive category and then select the template that you just created. Save the changes. The next step is to add the categories to the home page. Proceed to the pages and edit your home page with Elementor. Now to the most exciting part. With Crocoblock, you are not limited to just one way of showcasing your categories. Look how many options you have. First of all, Categories Grid Widget Content tab contains all the necessary settings. There are 5 available presets. Then you can also choose the number of columns, enable equal columns height, add gap between columns and rows. Also set a specific number of categories and you can simply hide empty categories, subcategories or uncategorized products. Query and order is also available here. Besides, you can adjust the size of the featured image, show or hide titles and products count, and enable carousel as well. Styling options are super easy. Add padding, change the colors of the text and even add an overlay and pick a color that better suits your store. Second option, Taxonomy Tiles widget. With this widget, you can display WooCommerce product categories and tags in the form of tiles and customize them according to your vision. The first thing you'll see in the General Settings tab is the Layout section. Here you can choose the type of layout, define how to show count, select title HTML tag, minimum height and main box width. Also, there is an option to choose whether you want to show categories or tags. You'll be able to hide empty categories or tags, show products by IDs, exclude taxonomy from the tiles grid and choose how to order the tiles. The next thing you can do here is to show count, choose the title maximum length, description length and what to put before and after the text. When you're done with the content settings, navigate to the Style tab and change the appearance of the taxonomy tiles according to your preferences. Last but not least, Crocoblock has a free add-on for creating grids on your website, JetGrid Builder. There are two widgets available, 
Post Grid Builder and Terms Grid Builder. In our case, we will use Terms Grid Builder. Apply the widget. You'll see the Grid section in the Content tab. First of all, let's click on Add Terms. Here we have Categories, Tags, Product Categories and Product Tags. I'm going to select the Product Categories. Now let me say a couple of words about thumbnails for the Terms Grid Builder. When we applied Categories, Grid and Taxonomy Tiles widgets, the thumbnails were pulled from the Product Category settings. So, when you create a category, you set a specific image as a thumbnail. The thing is, you have to set an image for the Terms Grid Builder as well. Edit the product category or product tag that you already have. Here you'll find the main thumbnail and if you installed JetGrid Builder, a bit below you'll see thumbnail for a Terms Grid Builder. Select an image, don't forget to save it and repeat the same steps with all of your product categories or tags. So, the size of every tile and the height of the grid can be easily changed manually. You see those blue squares right now, however, they won't be visible on the front end. Let's take a look at the settings. Vertical Compact When this toggle is not enabled, you can place the tiles anywhere on the grid. And if you turn it on, the tiles will be automatically aligned to the top. Gutter in this field, you can choose the width of the gap between grid cells. Number of columns. The minimum number of columns in the grid is 3 and the maximum is 50. Between those values, you are free to choose. Items type is used for the post and loading spinner. If you want to show a specific animated icon when the products are loading, turn this toggle on. Term item. All the toggles you see in this Settings section can show or hide the parts of the tile and change its layout. For example, if you turn the thumbnail toggle off, the featured picture won't be shown in the tile. And if you enable it, you will also have an opportunity to select its size. That works for each of the tile parts – title, description, etc. Play a little with the switches to decide what layout looks best on your website. When you are done with the settings, proceed to the Style tab and create a design that will match your taste and needs. For example, you can lower the opacity of the content body background, adjust its position and change the text font and color. Choose one of the options that I showed, style it and let's take a look at the front end. Now, I'd like to dive deep into one really cool feature of Jetpool Builder plugin that might be really helpful for you. The Custom Taxonomy Template option allows applying styles from your shop template to different taxonomies. For example, you want products from one category to have a different look than the whole shop template. Now you can create different shop templates and apply the style of the template to a specific product category. Great, isn't it? So here are our categories on the homepage and when you click on it, it's going to redirect us to a category page that looks exactly like the shop page. If you want to be fully creative here, add as many different templates as you want, style all of them differently, apply different widgets, just know that everything is possible with the Jetful Builder plugin. How to do that, you may ask? First of all, you can check our previous tutorials where we already created a shop template and designed it. It might be useful for you, especially if you just started your WooCommerce journey. So let's go back to the dashboard, Crocoblock, WooPage Builder. Here is my shop template that is used for displaying the products on my shop page and all of my categories pages. Now there is a category of women products and I want them to be displayed in a different way. Let's create a new template, specify that it's for a shop and I'll name it Shop Page for Women's Collection. To make it easier, I'm gonna copy everything from my main shop template. You want a different grid here? Not a problem. Let's search for the product's grid widget and apply it. After you're done with the presets and columns, a bit below you'll see Query By. Let's select Category and include the necessary one. 
then you're free to style the widget according to your needs and delete or add other widgets. Click on Publish. Now the most important step, we need to enable custom taxonomy template. Let's go back to the dashboard, WooCommerce, Settings. Open Jetwoo Builder tab. Enable it and save the changes. Next, go straight to the product categories. Edit the necessary category. Here you'll find this custom template option. Select the template that you just created. Be aware that you can select only shop page templates created with the Jetwoo Builder plugin. All right, let's check if it works. That's my homepage and categories grid. Let's click on it. This is how women's collection products look and if we open just the shop page, you'll see that it has a different layout. Applying the same steps, you can create as many templates as you want. Adding templates for the taxonomy is a really useful option because you'll be able to style up the template according to your preferences and then apply these styles for a specific category or a tag. That was it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, leave your comments down below, like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.